Welcome back to Urban Green Bee. Uh, Faz and Heidi here. I wanted to show you this interesting frame. Let's see if I can get a... My camera can never properly focus, so I'm just gonna sit still. Can you see the interesting colors there? Looks like they had a Shirley Temple for lunch and put that in the cells. See that? It's pretty cute. So this is my Russian hive. I'm gonna hand the camera over to Faz. This is my one Russian hive that I got from Dennis Miller up there in Baltimore. And um, so far, it's the most impressive. This whole top super above the excluder is full of honey. This is the only not fully capped frame. The other side is pretty empty, but they're working it out. Um, I'm happy to see no brood up here, which means that I did successfully exclude the queen to the bottom. All right. Um, so what I want to do is um, instead of taking each frame out and taking it away, I'm going to quickly lift this off and see how much honey is underneath in the second for, um, super to see if I should transfer some of this honey down. Uh, if not, if they have lots, my advisor will be happy to know that we're harvesting honey from them. Though I don't really want to because it is their first year. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this back in. You can note that they are filling the honey from the inside of the frames to the outside. So what I'm gonna do now is just give them a nice little smoke and then ask my strong man here who is holding the camera to lift this for me because I hurt my back. Uh, as you know, we use deeps for all three, for brood chambers and the honey supers, which is only convenient for supply's sake because we can interchange everything, but it's quite heavy, it's like 100 pounds, um, which I can lift because I'm tough, but it hurt my back. So. Let me get another super. working with Jeremy who I think is asleep while he's working the hives with me and so when I was lifting something he literally said why am I letting you lift that and literally when he said that I hurt my back and I was like really yeah why are you letting me lift it? but that's okay that's okay look at this fat drone here they're so noisy and they put on such a show they can't even sting you I can't get in here. There we go. Alright, so I'm just gonna um, pry it loose from the excluder. Ooh, maybe. Oh, dang. How come the girls got those very extra long legs at the back? Probably to grip the queen's booty. I don't know. I would imagine that's why. It's his sole purpose in life. Is to do the queen, so. It makes sense to me, right? Okay, my love, I'm going to take the camera. Whoa. It's getting a little waxy. Okay, so I will pry it up while you Before lift. I put it over there? Yes, maybe I should. Just be careful you don't trip over that brick right there next to your foot. Great. You stuck? Good, good, good. And just put it, you know, kind of stagger it. There you go. And the reason why he staggers it, which he already knows, I'm just saying it for the camera, is so you minimize how many bees get squished. So um, so here's the excluder. Now let's take a look inside. I'm gonna hand the camera back over. Smoke them so they go down to the queen. She's up here, goes down. I'm sorry? Maybe we should smoke them so if the queen is up, we need the excluder will go down. puffs with the smoker because I um, sent some burning smoker fuel down on top because I'm using um, half burlap and half cotton fiber and that cotton fiber just it burns quickly it doesn't smoke too well and it gets all the place and once you know I ordered you know 10 bags of it or something. So Again, 
these are Russian bees, so it's it's hard to get a full, you know, um, purebred species of anything these days. Certainly, people don't come purebred, um, so bees probably don't either. And there's always uh, inbreeding to worry about, but these are supposed to be Russians. Uh, but I can't really tell the difference. Maybe they're a little smaller. I don't know. What do you think? I don't know. I want to say they're a little darker, but... A little darker? Maybe the stripes are darker? Yeah. Okay, I'm just going to smoke again. And let's just take out... Now this looks like solid honey. They look amazing. And over here looks like honey too. Look at this drone. Who are you trying to fool? You see them? You can even hear them probably on the camera. Yes, I know, precious. You're like Poopshin and the mailman. Alright. So, um, as I've stated a couple times in my videos today, Foz and I recently got engaged. And one of the things that you might have noticed in my videos where Foz is present, I get crabby with him because I'm OCD when I do beekeeping. That doesn't mean I don't mess everything up when I do it, but I'm trying to be less crabby. So. Oh my. Okay, so let's look at what we've got here. All right, you need to relax. That one wants to stink. Relax. All right, I'm getting the smoke. Getting the smoke. Blame her. Okay. So you can put smoke on your hand if someone's after your hand because it just kind of masks the smell of... Oh, my fingers keep locking. Okay, so I left my brand new amazing flashlight downstairs, but I can see eggs. Yeah, lots of eggs, actually. Uh, I was about to These say... This queen cells? Um, those are not queen cells. Those are drone cells. Even on this those. side. Those. You are holding the camera, my love. Okay. So you're just kind of pointing at nowhere. Those are in fact queen cells. There are um, a lot on this side if you look, turn around. Yes, I see them. Wow. So, I'm just going to close this up. I'm not going, I don't cut queen cells. Um, when you're holding a camera, are you looking at me outside of the camera? No, and through the camera. Just kind of Sometimes, yes, I forget, so I apologize, but okay. I'm trying to be good. Well, this is a good video, so let's keep it on fire. So, we have some queen cells, some drone cells, a bunch of crazy burr comb. Uh, those are undoubtedly drone cells. And let me just point to you in case you don't know what they look like firsthand. You can see here worker cells, uh, uniform in shape and size and the top is nicely rounded. Then you get down to here, a little bit wider cell, higher top because drones have big heads and big booties, so they need more space. Then you get down to the bottom where there are the queen cells, supersede your cells, right here especially. They need a little more space and they need to be longer because she has a long abdomen. Um, unfortunately, when I pulled this frame, uh, I exposed some brood and I apologize very much girls so here it's mostly brood and a little bit of uncapped and capped honey around the top uh, I see capped honey maybe I'll take out one more frame but I need to be careful because I don't know where the queen is and she could be close by because there's young brood fresh eggs it's crazy and uh, just to reiterate from previous videos, how do you locate the queen in the hive? Well, you look for her evidence. So you look for... Ooh, these girls are getting cranky. If I'm gonna get stung, it's probably gonna be here. Um, you look for fresh eggs, fresh brood. Because that's where she's been most recently. But if it's all filled up, odds are she's not gonna be on that frame. She's off doing work elsewhere. Um, I'm gonna pull out this frame all the way over here all the way at this end just to see if it's got honey on it because that would be ideal. Um, 
I want to know how much honey they have in here. Okay, Cranky, I hear you. Okay, so I'm just going to be careful when I lift this. Again, I got my frame grip here. Put it on both sides. Pardon me, girls. Pardon me. And I'm just going to lift it up. Ooh. Okay, so it's not that heavy, so I'm anticipating young brood. Well, that's a little heavier than I thought. Oh. They're filling it with honey. That looks lovely. Um, Can we add a fourth super to the top? Well, the question is, is um, should I just take all those honey, honey frames off and just start feeding because they have a lot inside? I think you should just let them keep their honey. All of it? Yeah, it's the first year, so they probably need it. And then you can, you can feed on top of that, right? is though um, if you give them too much honey and then they don't eat it it can ferment mm. let me do a quick look underneath um, we're at 12 minutes we stop this okay. one? Um, I'm gonna look so what we're gonna do just to end this video is there's a lot of brood and a good amount of honey in here uh, surrounding the brood pattern I want to look in the bottom super and see if there's more honey down there if there is I'm going to contemplate not putting this back because unfortunately what I would, if there wasn't totally drawn out combs, I would have swapped it and put it in there. But um, they've already got it set up the way it needs to be with more honey on the outside, brood on the inside. So I'm going to have Foz lift this and I'm going to do a quick look and then I'll decide. Um, wish me luck.